What is going on y'all? It's your man Josh. I'm coming back to you with another video. Today I got another what's so video. This is the items that I've just sold over the past 24 hours. And I'm going to walk through and show you with those items. Also I'm going to give you a couple tips throughout the day. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in this. I'm going to pull all this up on my phone. Go and show you um, what all sold. Starting with the first item. I just sold this today about an hour ago. It is this Stranger Things. Uh, I don't know. I never really watched Stranger Things. I just know I've seen these things before in the in the past. It's a collectible. It's in the packaging is in the not in the best shape. So uh, somebody sent me an offer for thirteen dollars, and I I took it. So it's a McFarland toy brand. So when you're out, you can see these and you can pick them up for a buck or two. Hey, do it. Yeah, I mean it's worth the money. Next item I got is a uh, vintage Snoopy ceramic egg. It's from 1958. Here it is. Uh, again, I got this out of a lot of uh, Snoopy collectibles that I bought from a local guy. And I've been piecing it out, selling it off piece by piece. And sold this one for 20 bucks. Not too bad for a little ceramic egg. Staying on the Snoopy theme, next item, which is kind of cool. It was this 1979 Grandson Snoopy ornament. And uh, I didn't really think this thing would sell, but it did. So for ten dollars. Well, let's stay with the Snoopy theme. Last Snoopy item I got. Of course, all these are coming out of a out of a Snoopy lot. Like I said, I bought. This is a uh, a metal bank, and this little guy right here, his name is Woodstock. So all you Snoopy people out there know who I'm talking about, or Peanuts. But if you always wondered, little bird that's with Snoopy, that's him. He's, his name is Woodstock. I didn't know that until I started uh, researching these these items. So anyway. I sold him for $17.50. Next item I have, and it's two of the same. It's these Everdrop water filters. Again, on my earlier videos, I'll go and I'll uh, link it above. I'll talk about the importance of water filters. I pick these things up anytime I can. You'll be surprised what you find at uh, thrift stores and, and the state sales, especially for water filters, where I find a lot of mines at thrift stores. And uh, I pick them up anytime I can. These normally sell for like uh, 40 50 bucks in the store but I sold two of these I got them right here one of the packaging is a little bit is a little damaged but either way I sold both these for 31 50 a piece so and I paid five bucks a piece for them so that's a great profit my next item I have and <laughs> it's pretty cool I picked up this weekend at a store I was rummaging through and it is a uh, Viper Tech stun gun so if you see this brand that's what they make is, is stun guns and things like that. Uh, I paid $5 for it and sold it for $20 with $5 shipping. So, my last and final item, and I don't have it here with me because it's a it's ball cards. And the only time I bring my ball cards with me to the warehouse is when I'm actually uh, boxing them up and getting ready to ship them out. And I leave them at the house because my house, of course, is climate controlled and it's not here in the warehouse. As you can tell, I'm sweating. But I bought, I uh, sold these two cards I'm gonna put them on the screen right here and I bought these off of eBay months ago and I sold them for $55 with $5 shipping that uh... that's not too bad of a profit I'll take it uh... anytime any profits good profit not a really big day of sales but I just wanted you to see on a part-time from a part-time reseller part-time picker these are what most days look like for me it's just maybe six to ten items some days it's more and some days it's less but I just want to give you an idea of what it really is like to do this and this is a kind of a short what so video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera around I'm going to set up my uh, my area for uh, shipping which is right over here this way and I'm going to show you how I ship certain items out I got all kinds of different items right here I'm probably going to ship, just show you how I do uh, the stranger things and the water filters and the stun gun just because I don't have my boxes that haven't came in yet this here tomorrow for shipping out the breakable the other breakable stuff once I get those in I'll be glad to uh, show you how I do those so just hang on and I'll flip the camera around and I'll get right to it here in just a second alright guys hope you can hear me and hope you can see like I said my work here is probably not the cleanest as most would expect but it works for me so I'm gonna show you how I package up my my items 
and how I do it like I said I have the water filter right here and I have my my bubble mailer right here bubble mailers are a great thing to have on hand because you can ship a lot of items in there and a lot of my items make it safe and sound so what I do is I take this right here and the good thing about a bubble mailer is that you can actually stretch it and I stretch it right over and this is how it looks just like this so what I do is I click my scale on and I'm going to show it to you so you can see the weight hopefully when I lay it down about 13 ounces 14 ounces so if you look right here you can see that it's coming at 14.1.2 so you automatically round up that's what I do to be safe and it is going to be 15 ounces so let me get a sharpie what I do then is I take it and I write on here right on here 15 ounces and what it is this is a, a water filter filter it's whirlpool like that so now I know that that is a whirlpool water filter and that it is ready to go it's 15 ounces so now how about we move on to the uh, taser here is the taser again same principle put it in the bag now if you look and see that this bag is a little bit oversized for it so which is fine it's okay so what I do is, is I, I peel this and then I fold it down over my item until it's tight like this so now it's still padded it can move a little bit but it usually doesn't and then I lay it on the scale and it comes out at 9.7 or now 10 so okay so 10 10 ounces which means you round up to 11 ounces and that's how I usually do my my shipping I go up to 11 ounces and I put on what it is this is the taser and I stick it over here now real quick while I got this one in my hand and you see it I always put my label down as flat as I can and then when I print my shipping label off I'll lay it across here this way and what that does is kind of like a tamper proof you put it down and you know that it, one it helps hold the flap down because this stuff size likes to come up but it also like you said it's tamper proof you would know if somebody has cut this and opened it and whatnot before it, it made it to its its destination that is uh that's pretty much it let's see so I was going to show you one more. The uh, Stranger Things collectible. The packaging in rough shape. The buyer did not uh, specify another way how to ship it. So what I do is I put it in here. Yes, some of y'all are going to say, well, it can get crushed. Yes, it can. But nine times out of ten, Unless the buyer, the buyer's gonna buy something in this condition, they're gonna take it out and display it. So I put it on here, just like so. Again, it's coming out at 4.9, which means five ounces for me. I'll put five ounces and Stranger Things. That's three items I done ship. I done packed up that quick. Now I'm printing off a label is not that hard either and we'll get to that in another video but I just wanted to show y'all and how easy it really is to uh, to box items up it's not hard at all now I have heard of questions of people asking like well is delays in the po in the postal service yes there is and I don't I can't answer any questions on why I just know I read an article not too long ago that said that especially global or international shipments are going to be like three weeks of a lead time and today matter of fact I had a question come in from a buyer who bought a item from me at the first of August and I use the global shipping program through eBay to ship all my international items well they still haven't received their item yet and 
we looked at the tracking information and it has it reaching the Kentucky shipping uh, uh, facility but it hasn't left there yet so I have to do a little background and a little digging to see if I can't figure out why but the uh, buyer they're real patient and I told them long you know in the end if they don't receive their item here before too long that I'll just have to refund their money and if if the item comes in they can either send me an email say or a message saying that it came in I'll shoot on my invoice or they keep it and I'm just out either way my main goal is try to make my customers happy and most time I do just keep that in mind if you have the if you have those concerns don't worry about the shipping as long as you're up front and honest and tell people hey sometimes it takes a little longer they know and if they send you a message answer their question as quick as possible I mean, that's all I try to do overall that's all I have for you today I hope that you can glean just a little bit of, uh, of information from these videos again not a big day on sales not a but a good profitable day on sales just not that many items I'm hoping that tomorrow will be a lot better day we'll just see I'm fixing a hop in over here I've got some more things that I gotta get cleaned up and that I gotta list and uh, get those online for, get those on eBay and who knows maybe somebody will pick up some stuff this evening again thank y'all for taking time to watch my videos and uh, being here with me again if you have any comments or anything just comment below if you haven't subscribed to my channel and this is your first time being here please do so you know subscribe if you're getting anything out of this video or any of my other videos hey go back and give me a big like and let me know and if you see anything that I'm doing wrong that you would like for me to fix my, by all means leave me a comment or go to my uh, Instagram page and shoot me a message either way uh, just let me know again thank y'all and while you're out there sourcing if you see a veteran thank him or her I'm telling you I think it goes a long way because from take it from a veteran myself I love to get it I love to get told thank you and thank you for your service so please thank those men and women for their service and I'll catch y'all tomorrow on another episode of flipping and shipping